everyone welcome back to another video in this video we are going to discuss about the BOM overview BOM is a bill of material as a list of product that required manufacturing another product it defines the structure of the product and specific quantities that needed to produce so let's chit chat on the BOM overview in Odoo 17 manufacturing module here you can find all the work center overview which means all the work center that is currently available in the manufacturing module so if you just want to deal with the uh, work center, you have to enable the work orders from the configuration settings of manufacturing module, where this allows to process the operations at specific work center. And here we can just manage the work center directly from the configuration settings, or you can manage the uh, work centers from the configuration menu where you can find the work center. So here I'm not going to create any work center from the scratch so we'll be dealing with the work center furniture manufacturing center and we have given all the details so here you can see that we have just given the name of the work center as furniture manufacturing center where we just manufacture the furniture in this work center and you can use tags for filtration purposes so as we know that this uh, work center deals with the furniture that are making with wood so we can just give the code um, in such a way and you can also use the alternative work center so alternative work centers are nothing but they are used whenever our current work center is not working or there comes any maintenance over here and you can also provide short codes for the work center and you can also specify the working hour of the work center so currently i have just given 40 hours per week that will be 8 hours per day of the working time of this work center and this work center comes under the company demo company and you can also give a uh, general information such as this production information that is the time uh, efficiency so time efficiency is nothing but this field is used to calculate the expected duration of the work orders at this work center for example if a work order takes one hour and the efficiency is 100 percentage then the expected duration will be one hour and the uh, efficiency factor is 200 percentage however the expected duration will be 30 minutes okay and you can also set the capacity capacity uh, is nothing but that is the default number of pieces that can be produced in parallel that is it is uh, time in the work center for example the capacity is five so I'll be setting the capacity as 5 and uh, you need to produce 10 unit. Then the operation time listed on the BOM will be multiplied by 2. However, note that both time before and after the production only will be counted once. And here you can also set the uh, OEE uh, target that is overall um, efficiency, I mean effective efficiency target and uh, here you can also provide the costing information that is the cost per hour and cost uh, per employee. Okay, uh, so I'll be setting the cost per hour for the work center will be 20 and for the employee will be 30. And here you can also set a uh, setup time of the work center and clean up time for the employee, uh, I mean for the manufacturing center and here we can only specify the setup time and cleanup time in minutes so that we can set the setup time and cleanup time in minutes. And you can also set the employees for doing the operations in the work center. So currently I have just limited the operation for one person which is Michelle Admin. And you can also specify um, what is going on with this work center. So under the description you can just provide a uh, information like this sender deals with the manufacturing of furniture and if you want to specify the quantities you can specify that um, by adding a line over here so currently I am not going to give any specific product uh, in order to manufacture here now let me save this okay so after saving this we need to uh, consider a bill of materials because we are going to deal with the bill of material so in order to manufacture a product we have to consider the bill of material so here i'll be choosing the bill of material of drawer where you can find all the details and here you can see 
the components are drawer black and drawer case black and under the operation you can uh, see the operation is carpent and we'll be using the work center as furniture manufacturing center and you can see the duration computations that is the uh, time taken to set up the work center and uh, uh, the BON type will be manufacture this product okay and now we are going to just manufacture the product so in order to manufacture the product we have to create it from the scrap and here you can provide the bill of material so as you just provide the bill of material all other details will be automatically configured in Odoo and uh, you can set the number of quantities that you need to manufacture and under the work orders you can also see the operations that we are going to deal with and the expected duration will be 240 um, minute and uh, uh, under the components you can find everything now let's save this order and confirm the order so as I confirm the order under the work orders you can see that this uh, operation is about to start so uh, we can plan and start this work order so let me plan this so as I plan this now I'm going to start the work order so either you can start from the start button or um, you can just get into the internal uh, link of this and start the work so currently I'm starting from uh, the start button and Michelle is uh, dealing with this operation and you can see uh, the person who is dealing uh, the operation here and once the manufacturing uh, or the operation is completed you can just click on 10 and that shows the operation is currently finished and you can just produce all if you want and you can see currently we have the components and we have just produced all and here the forecast of quantity uh, will be not available uh, because currently we don't have any um, forecast nation for the product drawer and here you could find everything like such as a manufacturing order overview that shows every detail such as the quantity that we produce the unit cost and the manufacturing cost of the item and the real cost uh, and the operations uh, are then from which work centers and uh, the time taken uh, I mean the cost that is include for doing these operations will be also provided in the overview of the manufacturing order now let's consider the manufacturing order that we have just created so yeah drawer is the one that we have just created and here you can also uh, get the product moves that is the quantity that is moved so we know that the components that we use to manufacture uh, the product will be combined and the final product will be produced uh, that's why the final product is indicated in green color and the other components are just um, just taken uh, out from the stock and that's why it's shown in the red color now let's move on to the uh, order manufacturing order and here you can find the traceability that is the uh, product movement uh, and you can see from the production the product has moved to the stock with one quantity because we have only just manufactured one quantity and if you want to find the valuation over here you can just get that with the uh, product that is with the moved quantity unit value and the total value now if you want to just get the uh, BOM overview just move on to the uh, BOM and here you can just go to the uh, drawer and here you would be able to find the BOM overview that shows all the information such as the quantity and the BOM cost and the product cost and if you want to display any other things like the availabilities and all you can just enable this field so that this shows the availability also now uh, let's move on to the BOM and this also shows the operation performance and if you want to find that uh, that shows the expected durations with the reference number of the manufacturing order now we can also scrap the manufactured item so if you just want to manuf I mean uh, scrap the manufactured item uh, let's move on to the um, yeah manufacturing order and we can directly scrap the item from here itself so click on scrap and this would allow you to scrap the item and here 
if you want to just grab the item you can just choose the um, drawer and I need to just scrap one quantity and you can just click on scrap products and that shows um, the scrapped item over here. So this is how we deal with the manufacturing um, order and that shows the BOM overview uh, and hope this concept is clear for you. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.